Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix your Keurig K-Express Essentials coffee maker. So I've got it plugged in and it won't power on, nothing happens. I'm gonna show you how to take it apart and there's a thermostat on the inside that we can reset. So sometimes if you run it dry, if the add water light doesn't come on during the descale process or if, you're, if you run it dry, it trips that thermostat on the inside. So I'm gonna show you how to reset it. Okay, so before you begin working on this, make sure it's unplugged. We're gonna leave it unplugged until we're finished. So Miss Fiona likes to help with the repairs. Okay, so getting this plastic panel off proved to be pretty difficult. Now I did remove... The okay, so on the bottom of it, these three screws are very important to take out. They're number two Phillips. These three screws, you don't have to take out this one. This one just, just if you need to disassemble more, but I needed to do these three. And you'll kind of have to pry in these little areas right here where there's these little tabs. And I had to pry at the top. You kind of want to get the top off and that helps with, with being able to pull the side up. So the side, and you don't have to take it all the way off. I'm going to show you what you just need to gain access to, but these, these little hooks here, you've got to kind of disengage them by pulling this up and then it'll pull out. And then once you get that off, there's these tabs down here. You got to kind of disengage. So it proved to be pretty difficult. I did use a screwdriver and kind of an automotive tool for um, getting into the car stuff. Okay, so here's the heating element. There's the over temp thermostat. So here I've got the same, uh, I've got the same heating element of a different Keurig. Here's the thermostat that you've got to reset. Now that little button in the middle, you're going to press that with a paper clip. So if you check this with an ohm meter, you will not have continuity between here. But as soon as you press this, just get a paper clip and press in on the center. You may hear it kind of like click. You'll have continuity between here and here. And here's what it looks like on this Keurig. There's that center portion. So if you get that plastic panel just open enough to where you can get a paper clip in there and kind of press on that. And what I think happens is, so sometimes the logic board inside here doesn't recognize that it's out of water and it'll run a brew and it kind of runs it dry. And if you don't have water going through this heating element, um, it'll cause this to trip. Now, sometimes during the descaling process, I've had that happen. Um, the descaling process is kind of a, there's a logic on the board it has to go through and you're, you're pressing the button. And it, for some reason, it doesn't see the add water light. I'm not sure why but the add water light doesn't and it lets you do a brew with no liquid in there and that causes it to trip also. Okay, so now let's put it back together. It can be a little tricky. You're just gonna put this in. You gotta get those tabs in. So it helps lift this tab up here, put this like underneath the reservoir in first and then work your way around to this side. So it's going to get the back together a little easier. Again, kind of put the water reservoir in and then work your way around. Then you gotta kind of push this down. You'll notice there'll be a gap here. Push it down, and then that's gonna allow this part to go up. And then I can snap this closed. Now make sure you gotta get that piece underneath there. Okay, snap it closed. And again, snap it over here. So I had to kind of start in this area here to pop this piece up. Okay, so now put your three screws back in. Okay, so I've got it plugged back in. Let's power, look, I've got power now. That's awesome. It powers back up. Again, I'm not exactly sure why that thermostat trips sometimes. I know it is during the descale process, but that is a reset button on it. Just like the Case Supremes, the Case Slim, they all have the same thermostat, same heating element that trips. One thing I can say is when you're doing the descale, if it trips during the descale, and the add water light does not come on, you just gotta stop. You've gotta unplug the machine um, and start all over again. Now, when you start all over again, you can use just plain water. You don't have to put the, the vinegar or the descaling solution in there, but you do have to go through the logist lo logic of it. So you gotta put it in descale mode. You gotta run it down until that add water light comes on. Then that takes it to the next step, which it considers the fresh water rinses. Then once the fresh water rinses are done, the descale light will go out. So if that legit, if when I did mine, it didn't work the first time and I had to unplug it, start all over again, but eventually it did work. So as long as that, that add water light comes on during the process, you will get your descale light to go out. 
Now again, sometimes just during normal brewing, if you run your tank dry, um, that could also cause it to trip. Now I do have a detailed procedure on how to put it into descale mode and how to descale this with vinegar and the Keurig solution. So I hope this video helped fix your Keurig. If you could, please like and subscribe.